What's up guys? So today I want to talk to you guys about my clutch that I put in the Cobra. I put a McLeod twin disc in it. So I just kind of want to do just a short little review video, kind of what I think, kind of what's good, what's bad, kind of all that kind of stuff. So, so to start out with, uh, the reason why I switched clutches is when I bought the car, they had said that it had a bad clutch and I kind of made it last for, I don't know, a year or two after. It really wasn't that bad, but the one problem I did have was when I'd be accelerating uh, high RPM, trying to go from second to third, it uh, I would basically hit a wall, it wouldn't let me in, the RPMs would come down, then I could get into the gear, so it was just a pain. Um, so I believe the clutch wasn't fully disengaging, because uh, it was worn out, whatever. But uh, yeah, so I went with, I kind of went overkill, I went with the McLeod, the twin disc going to RST. The RST and RXT are very similar. Uh, just the clutch materials are different. Uh, if you look at the RXT, it just got a little more aggressive. It looks more aggressive on the, I don't know the actual, the actual chemical differences between them, but the RXT can hold a thousand and the RST can hold 800. So I'm well under 800 and if I ever want to upgrade, I'm, you know, more, I got, you know, tons of room to work with. Uh, the second reason why I chose the twin disc is I had heard a lot of people saying that it's a lot lighter pedal pressure, and that is very true. Um, from the factory, this clutch was just a nightmare to work with. It was super heavy, and it, this is the Cobras are cable driven clutches, so you really feel the difference with a heavy clutch, you know. So it's going to be heavy regardless because it's cable driven, but it was it was pretty ridiculous before. So yeah, so with this McLeod. The pedal pressure is super light, uh, not to the point where you don't feel anything anymore because it's still cable driven, so it's still lighter than most modern cars are. So you can shift a lot faster because uh, you don't have as much, you know, pedal pressure to, you know, actuate every time you hit the clutch. So you can, you can, you know, throw your leg into this and shift really fast, which is really nice. Um, so if you have the factory clutch, you want something lighter. Uh, the twin disc is nice. But you know the the trade-offs are super light pedal pressure, high horsepower um, rating on it, so you can obviously hold a lot of horsepower. So you hear that little bit. Yeah, you can shift so quick now. You know I really like the bushings that I did in the car. That really changed the car, but. Probably my second favorite's got to be changing the clutch out because it just makes it easier to drive. Before it was kind of a kind of a chore to drive it because the clutch was so heavy. Um, this just makes it super easy. You can shift as fast as you want. It kind of freed the. Oops, I it, um, it kind of freed up the transmission at least you know because mine wasn't fully disengaging. So the shifter feels better. It engages easier. Um, just overall, it's just very very nice. It's really not an on-off switch, which is really nice. You kind of you kind of can ride it a little more, and it, you're not hurting your jerky at all. Uh, it does take a little bit getting used to the twin discs, so I'll I'll pull into this parking lot here and see if I can kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm talking about with the chatter. So when you're first starting out, if you don't give it enough gas. It's actually really quiet. See, it, it kind of depends, like the temperature, uh, how humid it is outside. That seems to affect um, how how much the clutch chatters or doesn't chatter. Like right now, it's really not doing it a whole lot. So if you don't give it enough gas, you will hear the little little clanking clanking sound. Uh, but basically, you just got to give it enough gas where you know that's not going to be that's not going to be a problem. So. You just give it a little more. You do hear it every once in a while, but like like I said, when if you get the, the clutch kind of warm, like sitting in traffic, um, you will definitely notice uh, it starts to really chatter. So it's definitely not a traffic traffic clutch, but um, it's I mean it's so much lighter than stock. That's a little bit there. So I will notice too, like going uphill into the garage, if I have to stop midway it chatters a lot 
but for me, it, I really, it really doesn't bother me that much. Um, for the performance you get out of it, it's a trade-off that I'm willing to take. But if this one ever goes out, I'll, I'll be putting, I'll be putting another one right in because it's, it really changed the car how it drives as far as like just getting it in, light pedal, that's pretty much all the difference. Light pedal, being able, being able to shift it is awesome, obviously, so. Yeah, you can be super smooth with it. Um, I've noticed some people say online that it's noisy at idle. I don't hear it at idle at all. Um, so I couldn't say, I don't say that it makes any noise. You know, maybe yours will, I don't know, but at least with my Cobra, um, it doesn't make any, any noise at idle. When I replaced the clutch, I also did the McLeod light and steel flywheel. So I went with that. I also replaced, once you're in there, you might as well do the pilot bearing, the throw out bearing. You might as well do everything else, so. down uh, consider subscribing that helps me out a lot guys and I will see you guys in the next video